Ladies and gentlemen, it has been a while since I've uploaded a YouTube video and you're probably wondering, why the sunglasses? Thought look cool. Thank you for joining the video. The title will probably be how I got fit fast. I had fat on my chest. Here, lower part, sides, in those three places. Actually, face as well. I had fat on me. I didn't even realize because I had muscle. That's the thing. I was skinny fat first before I gained any muscle. I guess it's important to talk about the past. The key starting point for this that I really want to say and why I'm presenting this video is because I wish somebody taught me some of these details I'm going to be talking about in this video sooner rather than later. I would have paid somebody for the information I know now and what I've basically utilized to get me to be the fittest I ever feel and that I am. It's not me being egotistical because I genuinely feel and look the fittest that I've ever been. Thanks to nobody, thanks to not me paying anybody, not thanks to any supplements or even, even using any gym equipment. After I did BMX, did do weights two, three years, I would say basically three years, maybe close to four, and I had a set of dumbbells that I utilized pretty much every day or two, but it was just one weight that was quite heavy. To be honest now, it probably won't be, I mean, I just stopped using them. They're just, I started using them as my push-ups in my backpack, in the back of a backpack. It basically hinted at one of the things that I've been doing. I started in October 2023. I was playing video games. I realized it isn't exactly coming to anything productive, apart from back in the day when I was actually making videos and creating a community that you would have seen on here. And that's why I have this channel that has this many subscribers and, and views. And also I should note, thank you for 1 million views. That is a ridiculous number. Forever grateful and thankful for the whole journey on here. If I've been quiet, well, it's because I'm not that much of a gamer anymore. But I haven't played games in months, close to a year actually. I wanted to get my triceps to be larger, so but that's basically this part here rather than the biceps. Just looking at my arms now, just, it's just wild compared to before. It's just, it's just ridiculous, man. It's just ridiculous. The fact I've been able to do it without any gym equipment, you know, dumbbells, I used to use them. This is talking about the current progress. It's not really like I'm trying to be the fittest and try and attract plenty of girls because I really didn't need that. Plenty of people that are very fit but can't really even chat to girls. What I'm trying to get across is, is I like to do things that actually lead to something down the road that are beneficial to myself and people around me. Mostly myself. I guess we're all selfish at the end of the day. I guess it is good to be charitable. October 2023. And why do I say that? Is because then that gives you an idea in terms of progress. I had good biceps. I had fat on my chest on, on here and lower down. And I, I didn't realize up until like the first three weeks into just doing, and I should note, not just push-ups. I did diamond push-ups where you basically hold your hands to make a diamond you don't need to exactly have it as a diamond as long as you have your hands pretty much center level with your chest what i've been doing also is just trying to you know lower down working a bit more of my chest i just started doing those because i i wanted to build the triceps and i realized i saw online at the time that doing diamond push-ups can help with the triceps and that is something that i struggled with in terms of being able to utilize dumbbells in terms of building up the triceps first three weeks i realized my chest started to feel more tightened up in a good way it just felt more muscular and why do i say that is so that you get an idea as to how long it took me to realize some level of progress and in terms of like how often i started doing them i would say two or three times a day quite honestly you know at least once a day and just constantly just doing it every single day the only time i could probably think that i maybe missed a few days is maybe when i was ill but i'm rarely ever ill thank god touch wood what i'm trying to get across is is the really consistency now that's going through the workouts and i also have been doing a bit of what do you call it mountain climbers i believe but in the same position having your hands center position but doing mountain climbers which basically is almost like cycling with your feet up towards your belly if you look up online mountain climbers what they are now i wouldn't say that really helped as much but i've just been doing that more often a bit well the past few months i say i've been utilizing it as like a bit of a second workout but the thing is diamond push-ups just doing those itself actually burnt fat on the lower where my belly was the sides the front the upper the upper is where i felt it the most and then after the upper burnt that fat for fuel you know going into diet that's obviously a key part that i'll get into in terms of timeline we're in june now so you know the sixth month in the year and really my progress ever since then i'm, I'm so happy with myself honestly i want to make sure that i can inspire people to do the same as me and actually start something and this is 
pretty much a proof that you don't need gym equipment to do what I've achieved. Now, yes, I was somewhat fit before. I'll put some pictures now in terms of, and if I haven't already, in terms of my physique. Obviously, diet, that's a key thing that we'll get into. I mean, just feeling my body here three, four, five months ago, and just feeling my chest. I'm just not used to feeling so close to bone, honestly, almost, because that, like, as you can tell there, just from there, like, I would have fat, like, I would have fat there. I'm just so proud of myself, honestly. But the consistency is key. I can't let me be confident and stop working out. And also, key thing to note, doing the diamond push-ups until you feel like stopping. Do them until you can't do any more, because then that's where you actually get the most growth. Diamond push-ups is, is a blessing, almost, I would say, in terms of me being fit. I'm trying to think if there's anything else to cover in terms of my workout routine. No. There really isn't anything. God bless diamond push-ups. Do them again later in the day when you have the free time. It's been beneficial. I would say also for the biceps, which as you can see there. Oh, I mean, just flaw. <laughs> That's kind of wild. Just kind of flexing on cam here, which I kind of don't want to do. It's kind of like egotistical in a way. But I have wit. You know, guess you want proof to the pudding, I guess, in a way. Now, as you see my arm there, the triceps, when you flex for your biceps, it makes the arm bigger. And the key thing to know, I can't believe I didn't say this earlier because I already knew about this way before I even started this, I guess, mission, objective, is that the tricep, and this is why I wanted to focus on the tricep, is two thirds of your arm. So that's why it's key to focus on the tricep, which is the outer area of your arm, because then it gives this profile of the arm being larger. Hence why the egotistical word would be to say that I look massive. And you could see that there's no like editing, you know, from the reflection in the mirror there. Diet. Very key thing, obviously, protein. And you wanna minimize any kind of sugars. So my diet has quite honestly just been avoiding sugar, just completely. Well, I say completely, but I'll have maybe a bit of a treat, maybe once every two weeks, maybe three weeks, something like that. I don't really look forward to it. I just don't like the taste of sugar anymore. But dark chocolate is quite honestly the only thing that I would have, maybe a minimum 85% cacao, and that's really it. I'm trying to think of any kind of other healthy dessert. Ah, how have I not referenced this? natural honey that is the best uh, whether it be pre-workout and the best natural sugar that you can have and mixing that with your oatmeal is probably the best sweetener why do i say oatmeal because that's what i've been having we come into nuts nuts is very key so brazil nuts max maybe three a day i would say and almonds also uh, three a day and i'll have them both and then also cashew nuts uh, good for iron and then also the brazil nuts and the almonds are both good for testosterone and obviously protein and the, the cashews are good for protein but the reason why cashews is because of iron why am i even referencing this because people do take supplements to have good levels of whether it be iron and protein and etc etc i have supplements that I just don't use. So to be honest, I might even do a giveaway because I just don't even use these tubs protein powder because I'm just used to natural sources. What have I referenced? Brazil nuts, almonds. The key thing is to make sure you know about how many you can take, especially with brazil nuts because there's high levels of selenium. But other types of nuts, peanuts. A tub of peanut butter, natural peanut butter, not any kind of, and also with the nuts, you wanna make sure it's just pure nuts and not any kind of preservatives or anything else that's been mixed within it's very key to note so check on the ingredients and i was actually having also nuts on the same day as well but that's not good in terms of your cholesterol levels so you want to make sure that you either have one or the other i would say per day i would have a tablespoon of peanut butter and also have the, the nuts uh, and i don't think that was good for my cholesterol uh levels i would choose one or the other at the time if having breakfast you know oatmeal or whether it be muesli fruit and fiber uh, that's also good but i would prefer to really oats and, and muesli best is, is oats that also keeps you full within the day and that's why you want to have a protein rich diet because it's been shown in studies that when you have a protein rich diet you don't feel like eating more Food. And that's the key thing in terms of weight loss and also building muscle. With building muscle as well, you want to have a protein-rich diet, hence why I'm referencing these things. I mean, I've been trying to also, as you can tell, boosting my testosterone to then feel just, I guess, more masculine. Not that I felt even less masculine at the time. You want to make sure you be, you know, you have levels of good zinc. And what I've been taking really uh, for that is pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin seeds are rich in zinc. Zinc helps in terms of contributing towards testosterone levels. Chicken, having it with rice. I guess you would have seen these people when they do their meal prep. Broccoli, you know, veg and steak and in meat. Good levels of vitamins. Steak, chicken, making sure that I still have this 
muscle on me. It's been good to get behind the camera and, and do a video. I don't know if this is going to be edited because this is just too long. But the thing is, is that I want to make sure it's too long so that these little tips and tricks, if they really want to find out, they will watch the video in its entirety. If you've watched until this part, write down in the comments, say I like or I love and then say whatever I had already referenced. Either way, if you want more videos like this, then feel free to subscribe. If you found anything useful in this video, comment it also down below. I want to do more videos, so make sure you subscribe because I'm watching those statistics always. Like, subscribe, comment, share, and make sure you follow me on all the other social medias that I'll have most likely in my description. It'll be the same as my username on here. So yeah, make sure you follow me everywhere. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching and take care now. Bye-bye.